Imagine the shockwaves across the auto industry when a CEO steps on stage and confirms that their most secretive, most talked about engine isn't just a rumor, it's real. That's exactly what Mercedes has done. The company has finally revealed that the Yassa Flux engine exists. An engine once whispered about in hushed tones is now front and center. And this isn't just any motor. Early reports claim it's so powerful, so radically different, that giants like Tesla, BYD, and Toyota could soon be losing sleep. If this engine makes its way into production cars, the entire game, petrol, diesel, and even today's electric batteries could be flipped on its head. But the big question remains, what makes this engine so special? Is it truly the game changer the industry has been waiting for? Or is it just another flashy promise destined to fade away? And if it really delivers, could Tesla's EV dominance finally be under threat? One thing is certain, revolutions in car technology don't just appear overnight. They're born from years of research, hidden experiments, and carefully guarded strategies. The Yassa Flux engine is no different. Many assume it surfaced suddenly. But in reality, Mercedes has been quietly working on it for years out of the spotlight with no grand claims, no hype, just relentless work behind the scenes. That silence was all part of Mercedes's master plan. Let's rewind. Between 2010 and 2015, the EV wave exploded, and Tesla proved with its early models that electric cars weren't just the future, they were already here. Mercedes, watching closely, knew one thing. If they wanted to stay relevant, betting only on batteries wasn't enough. They had to reinvent the motor itself. That's when their eyes landed on a small but brilliant British company, Yasa. This startup was already experimenting with axial flux motors and, honestly, their early prototypes hinted at a technology that could completely reshape the industry. Mercedes saw the potential, stepped in with support, and by 2019, they took full control of Yasa. That move, well, it laid the foundation for what is now being called one of the most disruptive engines in modern automotive history. From the outside, it looked like a simple business deal, but in reality, this was the step that laid the foundation of the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes poured millions of dollars into the project, gave Yasa full funding, and put hundreds of engineers to work, day and night. Over the past decade, this quiet partnership transformed into one of Mercedes' boldest innovations. The company kept the project so secret that even industry experts had no clue. People assumed Mercedes was just focused on luxury EVs, but behind closed doors, they were building an engine that could shift the direction of the auto industry. The second big factor in this master plan was timing. Mercedes never rushed to launch the technology. They knew that if they released an incomplete or weak product, companies like Tesla or BYD would ridicule it immediately. So they tested it thoroughly, you know, thousands of hours of driving simulations, experiments in every condition, until they were fully confident. Only then did they announce it to the world. This move shows how much Mercedes has learned from Tesla. Tesla enters the market with a lot of noise, but Mercedes kept quiet, waited for the right moment, and then struck. This is their master plan. Say less, do more. So what is the Yasa Flux engine? Think about it. Whenever we talk about cars, the first thing that comes to mind is the engine. Once petrol and diesel ruled the roads, then the era of electric cars took over. But today, the name making the most headlines is the Yasa Flux engine. Mercedes has revealed it and, honestly, discussions about it are spreading all over the world. But what exactly is this engine, and why is it considered so special? Alright, let's break it down in the simplest terms possible. Yasa is a British company that originally developed this engine technology before Mercedes took it under its wing, and, well, flux simply means magnetic flow. Now, you need to understand that electric motors work on the interaction of electricity and magnets. Normal electric motors, which we call permanent magnet or induction motors, are thick and bulky. They take up more space and, honestly, weigh a lot more. But the magic of the Yasa Flux engine is that it's very small, lightweight, and extremely powerful. Its design is called axial flux. Now, what does axial flux mean? Let's put it in simple words. A normal motor rotates like a cylinder, while an axial flux motor rotates like a flat disc. In other words, instead of being a thick cylinder, this motor is like a thin round plate. The same question is being raised today about Mercedes's Yasa Flux engine. 
From the information that has come out so far, it's clear that the Flux engine will currently be installed only in luxury and high-performance cars. The biggest reason for this is its initial cost. Being a new technology, its production cost is high and, you know, companies would like to install it first in those vehicles where the price is already high, but this does not mean that it will always be expensive. As mass production begins and the research cost is recovered, this engine can also reach affordable cars. Now, let's talk about the challenges of manufacturing. The design of the flux engine is as unique as it is difficult to make. Companies have been manufacturing ordinary motors for decades, but the production of an axial flux motor is completely new. It requires very precise magnets and coils, and it is not easy to connect and balance these machines. Mercedes may have the technology, but if it has to be installed in lacks of vehicles, then it will have to prepare for mass production. This is the biggest challenge. Along with this comes the stress of raw materials and supply chain. Flux engines require rare earth elements such as neodymium magnets. Their supply is already limited to China and a few countries. If the demand for flux engines increases, the shortage of these metals may grow further. This will increase prices and put pressure on companies. To deal with this problem, Mercedes will have to find new suppliers and perhaps also pay more attention to recycling technology. The automotive world stands on the precipice of a potential revolution, moving beyond the initial, albeit impressive wave of electric vehicles. The foundational technology of the radial flux motor, which has powered the first generation of EVs, is now being challenged by a groundbreaking new architecture, the axial flux design, often referred to as the Yasa flux engine. Having captured the attention and investment of industry titans like Mercedes-Benz, this technology promises to redefine the very essence of electric performance and efficiency. Now, the critical question arises, when and how will this transformative Yasa flux engine make its way from the realms of high-concept engineering to the driveways of consumers? The initial rollout strategy, as championed by Mercedes-Benz, is a classic tale of trickle-down technology. The company is currently in an intensive phase of integration and validation, preparing to debut the flux engine in its most prestigious and performance-oriented models. This deliberate choice serves a dual purpose. Firstly, it allows the mark to showcase the engine's staggering capabilities in a context that justifies its initial cost, luxury sports cars and high-performance AMG variants. So, imagine the next all-electric Mercedes AMG supercar, not just competing with, but you know, actually decisively outperforming its rivals, all thanks to a power plant that's significantly lighter, more compact, and explosively powerful. The use of flux engines in these Halo models will really serve as a powerful statement of intent and a live demonstration of its superiority. The advantages, well, they're going to be profoundly felt across Mercedes's performance lineup. Informidable SUVs like the future iterations of the AMG GLE or the G-Class EV the flux engine honestly presents a paradigm shift. This technological leap will also arm Mercedes with the ultimate weapon in the high-stakes performance EV arena. The benchmark for sheer, unadulterated speed is currently held by vehicles like Tesla's Model S Plaid. The integration of flux motors into Mercedes' own sports sedans and coupes will provide the necessary firepower to not just compete with, but potentially surpass these established benchmarks. The combination of lower weight and higher power output could translate to sharper handling, blistering quarter-mile times, and a new top tier of electric performance. If we look at the picture, after 2030, the flux engine can become the new standard of the EV industry. Just like today, every company uses lithium-ion batteries in its cars. In the coming time, every company could move towards motor technology like flux. It is possible that in the coming seven to eight years, this technology will become so common that even cheap electric cars will start getting flux engines. But here a big question arises. Is this really the future of the EV industry or just another corporate promise? The history of the auto industry shows that many times companies talk big, but their technology does not turn out to be as effective once it enters production and the market. The real test of the flux engine will also be when it is fitted in the vehicles of everyday customers and runs on the roads. So now the decision is yours. Do you believe that the flux engine will really change the future of electric vehicles, or will it fade away, like other technologies in a few years? What is your opinion? Tell us in the comments. And yes, thanks for staying till the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see such amazing and true stories.